Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.7, number 25. And here we are with our, our magnitude equation. And what they're asking us to do here is solve for that letter S. So I need to solve this equation so that um, it's not saying M equals some expression. I need it to say S is equal to some expression. So if I want to solve for S, we'll keep our eye on the prize, right? The first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by three halves because really I want to get rid of that constant that's out there. So you could think of it as dividing by two-thirds, which is the equivalent of multiplying by three halves. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by three halves, these cancel, and I'm looking good there. Now, keep in mind, this is a logarithm, right? And it's really base 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this logarithmic equation that's at this step and write it in its equivalent exponential form. So if I want to do that, and let me change highlighter colors here, since the base of my logarithm is 10, then the base of my exponent is also going to be 10, right? And now remember, logarithms themselves are exponents. So since this logarithm is equal to 3 halves m, that is my exponent, 3 halves m. All right, and then the argument of the logarithm, and let me color code this again, the argument of the logarithm, this s over s sub 0, that's what this exponential equation will be equal to. And that's what you see me writing at this step. And then it's not too bad, because again, if I, if I go back to i on the prize, I'm trying to solve for s. So the only thing I need to do now, let me use my eraser here for a moment, is I'm going to multiply both sides by s sub 0 to get rid of the fraction, and there we go. So now that I've solved my equation for s, I've finished the problem. All right, thanks so much. Bye.